Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Carlson. I'm a board certified general surgeon, board certified cardiothoracic surgeon or heart surgeon, as well as an age management specialist. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about hormone replacement therapy and really all the benefits and how to improve the quality of your life by properly balancing hormones. I've been managing patients with hormone issues for over 25 years, taking care of patients in the intensive care unit, heart, liver, kidney transplants. Over the last 10 years, I've been focused more on managing hormone replacement therapy in men and women, specifically aging changes of their hormones. My basic philosophy is that these same hormones that were so kind to us in our 20s and 30s and now are gone or significantly reduced present a significant problem as far as aging. They are the reason we have age-related diseases such as cancer, and heart disease, and osteoporosis, and obesity, diabetes. These conditions can actually be modified, corrected, improved, your quality of life improved by just rebalancing your hormones. Of course, some people say, oh, wait a second, hormones, there aren't those things dangerous? They must be dangerous. They're not. For instance, in women, in regards to heart disease, a woman prior to menopause has a one in 59 chance of having any heart issues. After menopause, one in every 2.8 women will have heart disease. That's astronomical increase based on estrogen. And women over the age of 55, 43% will die from a heart attack or stroke. So if you think having a low estrogen level is just okay, it's not. It is a perfect environment for creating the development the progression, the advancement of heart disease. It doesn't stop there. The use of estrogen postmenopausally has shown to dramatically reduce colon cancer. Now, I would like to go through a number of issues in regards to how to properly balance these hormones, specifically going through hormones such as progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone in women. All three are very critical, and all three are life-changing. Faced with low progesterone levels that cause problems sleeping, or women are instead given Ambien. Women that are having severe anxiety and irritability at this point in time because of low progesterone are given Xanax, not progesterone. All they need is to reevaluate, to get their progesterone levels back to the levels that they were at when they're in their 20s. This will all disappear. In regards to estrogen, estrogen loss is associated with depression. So when all these ladies in their late 40s and 50s are coming in with depression because of low estrogen, instead they're being started on Cymbalta, which is one of the worst drugs out there. It's very dangerous. Zoloft or antidepressants. Instead, why don't we just restore a woman's estrogen level? back to normal levels. Well, that is involved with reduced heart disease, improvement in energy levels, improvement in libido, improvement in skin quality, improvement in memory, no hot flashes so you can sleep, reduction in, in weight, including abdominal fat.
I'd like to go through and explain to you the advantages, and then you can make your decision. You need to empower yourself with knowledge about hormones because you need them. And too many people are saying, no, 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 they're not good for you. Too many people don't understand them, don't want to understand them because quite frankly, it takes a while to understand them, to relearn this, to take the initiative to sit and listen to a patient for a few hours and to develop a plan that will help them. Unfortunately, conventional medicine doesn't do that anymore. It's two minutes in the office, rush in and out. I'm going to give you a script and that's it. I know that's how it works. I feel very bad for the doctors that have to support themselves by doing that. But the problem is too many people men and women are not properly being taken care of. And we can reduce these risks of age-related diseases like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, memory changes, osteoporosis. You can empower yourself so you can make the right decision.